All right, let's watch DSP. I hope you guys aren't disappointed by this. It's a 38-second DSP clip. That's but, it? But when I saw it, oh, shit. I thought, you know what? This one's going on tonight. Uh, this, keep me we waiting. Got, we got to do this one on the program. Uh, DSP was doing a stream. I don't know what game this is. I'm not big on, you know, I, I know a couple of games. That's it. You've got your set one. I've got I've got Madden. I've got Red Dead Redemption 2. I've got Mountain Blade Bannerlord. That's all I've got. Uh, so I see this and I go, wow, I have to, I have to play this for everyone because this, you know, we always said if we play another DSP clip, it's gotta be something different, mm -hmm. right? Spicy. It can't just be begging, begging, begging. I mean, what, we're 280 away from our goal? Fuck that, we're gonna be begging tonight. No doubt about it. <laughs> so DSP. <laughs> Snort. Yeah. DSP. This isn't about begging. This isn't about getting a new computer. That's refreshing this, already. It's not about any of that. You know what it's about? Gays. Black people. Whoa. Yep. DSP <laughs> uh, DSP decided, you know what? I'm going to branch out. I'm going to be a little bit more than a gamer. You know what I'm going to be? I'm going to be an off-the-cuff, acerbic-witted show host. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some comedy. I'm in. In between my talking about Jasper and... Asking you to pay for my new computer, but don't give me a computer. Give me money so I can tell you I bought a computer and then just buy a bunch of WWE Mobile Champions credits. In between all of that. You know, that's the same behavior as homeless people, right? Sure. <laughs> just going to spend it on booze, Phil. No, let me give you some food. Yeah. No. I don't, I don't want any food. All right. I have food. All right. I cook every night. No, you don't. You order DoorDash. You Shut make the ramen. Fuck up. Yeah. Uh, so anyway... Phil sees this clip in a game where a white man is hugging and protecting a black girl. Okay. As authorities are there in the cut scene in one of the games. Phil, give us your biting acerbic commentary, if you will. Best if we make this quick. So the cops are apparently there to take the girl into custody. Oh, into custody, yeah. take her away. And this guy feels helpless. Like, the co look, the cops are here. They have to take you. Otherwise, you know, something bad could happen to me. Let's see how Dark Side Phil handles this. Okay. <clears throat> All right, boys, prepare the slave trade. We're selling a right off for profits. No, he didn't. This might be the most entertaining he's ever been. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Where the hell did that come from? He'd been waiting to say that for so long. <laughs> he was just like, you know what happened? He saw this cutscene start and then he went, I'm sneaking a fucking slave joke in there somewhere. Dude, he thought of that one before. He was, that had to, that was off the tongue, ready to go. He gave a throat clear before he delivered that one. He's like, I want to make sure I don't have any wet snorts in me. Before I deliver this fucking oh, gold. <laughs> Holy shit. I actually, this this, this one, we're going to watch it 5,000 more times. But this one actually makes me feel bad for Dark Side <laughs> yeah, Phil. Because this isn't like, um, guys, I need lots of money. I have my day off. I'm changing how much money I need today, blah, blah, blah. That's not that. This is like shit that if it makes the rounds, and this is already on our cringe. <laughs> this is already on our cringe. Was this recent, by the way? This was today, I believe. He wears a cowboy hat right now. I think he's into cowboy hats now. Oh, I don't like that. That makes me like him. So <laughs> this is one of those deals where if this goes far and wide enough, this could fuck him up. Um, yeah. I don't want to. And let me say something. I don't want to see that happen. All of you who no. are here to watch me shit on DSP tonight, I want you to know one thing. I want DSP to make lots of money. Yes. I want DSP to be very successful. I want DSP to continue broadcasting and providing us content because I find him to be a very fascinating human being to talk about, to look at, to dissect, all of it. Uh, I yeah. love DSP. So I don't want to see him get taken down. So, like, I don't want DSP venturing too far into the race waters. No, it makes us nervous. I don't want DSP watching a, a show about, or like, I don't want him playing it like Call of Duty and see a building explode and go, oh, I didn't hear Allahu Akbar before that happened. <laughs> I don't need DSP doing acerbic political and religious humor. I need DSP 
talking about his cat, whining about his day off, bitching about computers, and begging people for money, and yelling at Keemstar. I, That's all I need. And I bet, wiping his earwax and wiping it on his mustache. I bet he's great at parties. I bet he's the worst guy ever at parties. Yeah, but one thing that sets us apart from Red Bar like quite a lot is we actually don't want our fools to burn into the ground. We want, want them to keep thriving. I so want this guy to do this. very well. But Jesus Christ, get the slave trade ready. Phil, dial it back a little bit. As a guy who says whatever the fuck he wants on a comedy show, let me tell you, when it comes to doing an offensive joke, the juice has to be worth the squeeze. Meaning, and if Denny uh, shit on us and Chrissy Mayer, I can say this is uh, something he never learned. Saying the N-word doesn't make you edgy. No. It's just, if you're not funny, it just makes you more not funny. If you're going to drop something like that or something like DSP did, you'd better have a lot of funny juice in there because it's going to have to overpower how cringe you are yes. for trying to get over by saying that. Right, you say that about a tiny little girl, too, in a game. Ouch. Best if we make this quick. <clears throat> All right, boys, prepare the slave trade. We're selling it right off for profits. Why would that just jump into your head? Like a, Because he's low-key racist, A man. George Floyd joke would hop in there before a fucking slavery joke. Like, he skipped over, right. like, 400 years of history to get to Kunta Kinte. <laughs> God damn, Phil. <laughs> I gotta, yeah. I gotta spice up my content lately. It's been a little lackluster. I know, black girl, slave jokes, go. I mean, this white guy's on his knees and shit. You could have uh, made like a kneeling joke or something Some, like George Floyd, I, I like mean, he said. That would have been horrific too. Yes. But not as horrific as what he did. A poor little girl. Oh, Jesus, Phil. And you know what the biggest thing is? People are like, oh, what are you complaining? Uh, what are you uh, being offended by his joke? No, I'm saying he's not the guy to deliver this shit. This isn't a Phil thing to do. He's DSP. He's the guy who complains that the game is cheating when he loses in Mortal Kombat. He's not the guy who makes race jokes. Cowboy Just Phil. because you're wearing da uh, Don Imus's cowboy hat doesn't mean you can start yelling nappy-headed hoes, Philip. Dude, he looks like Enos Delmar. That's his outfit. <laughs> he does look like Enos Delmar. I wish I knew how to rage quit this game. <laughs> oh, no. All right, boys, prepare the slave trade. We're selling it right off for profits. <laughs> That's it. That's all. No follow up you to that. How much I love no you. nothing. Just. He could have made a dad joke like the chat there, like in the game said, daddy loves you. Yeah. And stuff like that. Nope. No dad jokes. Nothing. Just straight to slavery. Just slave trade. And then. Oh my God. Let's get back to our game. <laughs> right. All, all the way to the moon. That's right. You get scared. You just look up at the sky and remember that. Okay. Okay. Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. Is that it from Phil? Right, she's too valuable to escape. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Jesus, Phil. Just when we think it's safe to go oh. back into the stream. I was wondering if there was more coming because it's been 38 say, yeah, why, seconds. Why is this so long? Wow. Jesus. She's worth lots of money. <laughs> Kept going. Oh, look, the next video is a red bar video. That's back when fun. he had uh, meat on his bones. Yeah, back when he looked like Vince Russo. Oh, Ooh, Eddie, had if... Some, uh, had some weight. Don't play that. Oh, no, no. Oh, the, ah, 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 ah. She's too valuable. Oh, my God. <laughs> DSP coming in hot with his fucking Third Reich material. I can't believe he said that. Hulkamasha baby says fucking based. 